Hello and welcome to Metsmerizing.com. The topics that we'll study today are In the second lecture, we'll discuss about polynomial inequalities. Now, the first question is, what is a polynomial inequality? So, as the name suggests, it's a polynomial. So, I can write any polynomial as a0 x to the power n, a1 x to the power n minus 1, and then it goes up to a n, and with an inequality sign. I'll say, suppose the question is, x square minus x is less than 2, and we need to solve this inequality. So there are certain steps in these algorithms. So the first step is make a right hand side zero. So whatever is there on the right hand side, just take it on the left hand side. So I get x square minus x minus two, and this is less than zero. Now the second step is, if possible, factorize. So if you can factorize, just factorize. And if you cannot, just leave it there. So I'll get x plus 1, x minus 2, and it should be less than 0. Now the third step is find roots. So simply take these factors, put it equals to 0, and find roots. So I'll get x equals to minus 1, and I'll get x equals to 2. So I get two roots. Now fourth step is place roots on a number line in order. So what I'll do is, I'll draw a number line and I'll place these two numbers in order. So first I'll write minus 1 and then I'll write 2. So what I've done is, I've placed both the roots on a number line. So what actually they have done is, they have partitioned the number line in three intervals. Interval 1, when x is less than minus 1. Interval 2, when it lies between minus 1 and 2. And the third interval, when it is actually greater than 2. Now the fifth step is, decide sign of the rightmost interval. So decide sign of the rightmost interval. So now there are many conventions. The convention that I follow is, I need to decide the sign of this rightmost interval. So the rightmost interval is from 2 to infinite. So I need to know whether I should put a plus sign or a minus sign here. Now how do we decide actually whether to put a plus sign or a minus sign? Now there are three ways. Now one of the method is using leading coefficient. Now in any polynomial, the coefficient of highest power of x is your leading coefficient, right? So in this inequality, the highest power is x square and the coefficient of x square is 1, which is positive. So that's the reason I'll put a plus sign there. So there will be a plus sign. So this is one way. Another method can be just go to your factors and for each factor, look at the sign of the leading coefficient. Now here leading coefficient is positive. Here also leading coefficient is positive. So plus into plus will be plus. So I'll put a plus sign there. And the third method can be just take up any number between 2 and infinite and put it in the inequality. So if I take any number, maybe I take up 3. So 3 belongs to the interval. So if I take x equals to 3 and I put it there, I'll get what? 9 minus 3 minus 2, which is what? Which is plus 4. So if it is positive, I'll put a plus sign. And if it is negative, I'll put a minus sign. And then in every interval, so put alternatively plus and minus sign. So this one is plus. So the next one will be minus and then it will be plus. So it will be plus, minus and plus. Now because we are putting alternate plus and minus signs, sometimes it is also called as wavy curve method. So from plus, minus and plus. Now the final step is I need to write the answer. Now what does these plus and minus sign actually represent? They represent that when x is less than minus 1 or x is greater than 2, the value of this expression is positive which is greater than 0 and when the value of x lies between minus 1 and 2, then the value of expression is negative. So I'll go back to my inequality and I'll find out whether I need a plus sign or a minus sign. So if I go back to my inequality, 
Now my inequality says it should be less than zero. Now less than zero is obviously negative. So what I'm looking for, I'm looking for all the values of x for which this expression takes a negative value. So this expression takes a negative value in this interval from minus one to two. So answer to this inequality will be from minus one to two. And because it doesn't have an equality sign, I'll simply use open circle. So answer to this question will be x belongs to minus one to two and both not included.